So I don't know about you, but I don't want to be studying 10 hours a day, not achieving my goal of living a more productive, fulfilled and a meaningful life. So I'm Conrad, I'm an ACCA student at the applied skills level and I'm living in Botswana. So how this video is going to be structured is we're going to be breaking it up into five practical tips that you guys can apply instantly in your life. Remember, if you want to skip to another section in the video, then please be my guest. But let's get into it. Tip number one, use your minutes wisely. The first point is by a book that I'm currently reading that I'm absolutely loving. It is Some Days Today by Matthew Dix. So I'm going to give you a story out of the book. Matthew Dix talks to a woman that wants to write a novel. So Matthew Dix and the woman meet for coffee. She's asking questions about like, how do you find the right editor? How do you actually publish the book? And he's just listening and he knows this question that he wants to ask, which is like, how far have you gotten with your book yet? And this is where it's funny. So she says, I'm totally not ready for it. I haven't even started. He then asks her, what do you think I did for the last seven minutes while I was waiting for you? In those seven minutes, he actually wrote down nine good paragraphs, revised the paragraph, and he added a bit more ideas to his book. When you have 15 minutes or 7 minutes left during your day, pop out your question book and start doing some questions. And this is just to say that it works. I want to read you guys this quote. I've written 11 books and published 9 over the past dozen years because I don't wait for the right moment to write. Second tip is the flower wheel effect. So for those of you who follow my blog, I wrote about this in more depth. So how the flower wheel effect works is to get something to motion. It's like the most difficult process. Think about a train going uphill and the train goes to and then as soon as at the top of the you start hearing and I know this is like a stupid example, but in the beginning when you're going to start your work, it's going to be super difficult to get in that hour of work. But as soon as you start doing it more consistently, then it's going to start building up. And some tips for this, which I got from my girlfriend, is actually breaking the work up into pages per day. And it just makes the task so much more easier to digest. The third tip is to study with physical resources. So I know some of you become distracted when you're watching my TikTok videos. That is the reason why I say that you should rather use physical resources. Now, bear in mind, this is my personal experience. When I use a physical textbook instead of a digital textbook, it just helps me concentrate that bit more. Because every time you get distracted, it's literally three minutes of your time to reconcentrate and to get into the learning pattern again. Tip number four is start using a smart calendar. Now this is where you're going to say, Conrad, you're such a productivity bro. <laughs> and then I'm going to say to you, no bro. I started with this like two weeks ago and it was been a goal of mine. It's on my goal list. You can't see it now on my computer. Everyone that I've read of in the productivity space or studying space, Space, uses a calendar and ever since I've used it it's become life-changing so I'm gonna give you a few pointers of what I do brain hacks to be able to make it this life-changing new aspect so what I do is I schedule my whole life like you'll see I have a work block I have an exercise block I have a health block I schedule all my tasks in life into blocks another thing that I do is I treat every event as compulsory well 80% of the time then for every aspect of my life I create different calendars which I then color code to make it just look nice because I like things that look aesthetic anything that you make aesthetic or fun put you in a better space last of all this is the most important thing that i think is like your tools first of all a pair of noise cancelling type of headphones now these aren't proper noise cancelling headphones but i've had them for like 10 years the jbl eb50 or something like that now any sort of noise cancelling headphones that you can use start using them i know people say that listening to music doesn't help you study but for me personally actually helps me concentrate and drowns the background noises out for me to be able to focus second of all i'm gonna cliche you guys get yourself one of these bad boys i know they might be extremely expensive but a monitor makes such a big difference i literally got this monitor about two months ago genuinely i recommend it 110 percent if you've got a laptop to just plug in the next thing is an app on mac or well, any website. It's called Poma Focus. If you guys have watched my previous videos, I always use some sort of a Pomodoro timer type of thing. I set mine for 30 minutes and five minutes break. Last but not least is a lo-fi playlist. Like seriously guys, this is what I listen to every time I study. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Anything to do with lo-fi study or lo-fi sleep. Lastly is get yourself some fake plants. Literally, this is my fake plant. I have a few around my room. If you can see, there's one. And there in the corner are a few, but <laughs> my lighting setup's in the way. A fake plant is so amazing. Like, it just creates this environment that you want to get back to. I want to get back to my desk because it's aesthetic. It looks good. My desktop is quite cool. If you see my desktop, I designed myself. And my phone cover is quite cool. Let me show you how my phone cover looks. You see, it's quite cool. And just anything that looks aesthetic. It just makes, when you get to your desk, you feel, oh, I'm such a mood to study and I'm so less for the things. I hope these tips help you. I'm going to make a video about how AI is helping me as an accounting student. So if you'd be interested, follow me on TikTok and then watch the next video. I'll, I'll see you in the next video, bro. Cheers.